Hey you guys, what's up? It's Christian and Corey from Super Comic Guru 9000 and we have some big announcements. Uh, it should be the end of Naruto today, which is kind of sad. It's bittersweet. It's the end of a long run. But before we get into all that, we have some other things we want to talk about in this video today. And that is, part three of Naruto has been mostly confirmed at the point of making this video. There's no mostly about it. Part three is, is happening, guys. Woo! Uh, today's, today's been crazy. The internet has literally been exploding. You know, it's, it's not enough that Naruto is about to end, but there's just been so many leaks and announcements about all these brand new Naruto projects, uh, some brand new character artwork for the last movie has been released, and the most massive bombshell of all has been dropped on us, Ooh. which are early spoilers of Chapter 700, all in full color glory, and there is no official confirmation that they are real yet, but they look pretty freaking real. As someone that's read a lot of Naruto manga, I mean, you can just take my word for it, that looks legit. So if they... If that's fake, someone's been practicing a long time, and it looks really good. I will say this, though. I'm really disappointed in myself because I didn't want to look at any spoilers, but you guys have been messaging me all day. It's hard. This stuff has been really hard to avoid online. I've literally had it plastered in front of my face a few times, and it got to the point where I'm like, look, we're, we're going to have to talk about this now. It's just too interesting to not talk about it. We're still going to do a full live reaction when we read the chapter, so there's still a lot of things that are unknown. Mm -hmm. This is just a few images which have been released, and of course, there's still chapter 699 as well. There's a lot to resolve. So today, we're just going to run through a lot of these images and just give you guys our thoughts on them, how we feel about it, and uh, hopefully what we're looking forward to in the future, because even though the Naruto manga is getting ready to end... It's, there's still a lot for Naruto in the future. So uh, Yeah, so if someone wants to follow along with us, what website are we looking at? Uh, we're looking at Saiyan Island, which is really popular for uh, talking about Naruto and Dragon Ball type information. And what's, what's the name of the article? And you can also check it out uh, on Anime News Network. Uh, the actual article itself, uh, I'll put a link for it in the description box below so you guys can check it out, but it is Naruto, Hinata, Sakura, and Sasuke as parents. Oh my so god! So clearly we got to figure out who's going to be with who. So the first image... We're going to go ahead and take a look at is immediately spoilerish. We get to see Hinata, a much older version of herself, with what looks like her daughter. And her daughter also happens to have the signature fox marks on her cheeks, which officially confirms Naruto and Hinata are going to be together. Yes, it's a it's a huge day for the pairing world of Naruto. Uh, <laughs> Everybody's freaking out. Everyone is either is saying, I was right, or I can't believe this is true! You know, there's no real... Or there's us that are like, oh, we didn't really care, but we're glad there's more Naruto. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's that's really the way I do feel about it, to be perfectly honest. I'm not upset, I'm not angry. Uh, I am just glad to see that there is going to be some new stuff in the future, and uh, obviously the interesting thing about this image uh, is that her daughter, who apparently her name is Himawari, uh, she doesn't have Byakugan eyes. She just seems to have normal eyes, and it doesn't yeah, seem like Naruto's those traits... Eyes. Naruto yeah, blue basically. Eyes. And uh, she even uh, looks a lot like Naruto, especially in the face. Um, and in the image, it looks like they're hanging out at a gravesite, which I'm just going to imagine that is Neji. Yeah, it, it makes the most sense, you know, going to see Uncle Neji, mm -hmm. uh, leaving flowers at the grave. Uh, we are making an assumption it's a grave, but because mm -hmm. uh, we can't really tell 100%, but it looks like one. Mm. I mean, to me, it looks kind of like the graveyard they have, like with all the, uh, the ninja that have their stone slabs mm -hmm. and you can put the flower right in front of it. Uh, it just seems like that's what's going on. But uh, let's move ahead. Uh, the next image is Naruto, and it looks like he's stopping a young ninja from defacing the, uh, the, is, the Mount Ninja Moor. He is stopping a young blonde ninja from defacing Mount Ninja Moor. And doesn't that just take you back right there immediately? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like when Naruto, when he was young, and uh, he seems to have a paintbrush in his hand and some red paint on his face. Mm -hmm. And uh, he also has a shuriken in his hand, and Naruto immediately whacks him on the head. Yeah, it's it's... And what's also cool here is it looks like Naruto, he is wearing his cloak, and I'm guessing he is Hokage at this point, because yes. apparently everything that's taking place in these spoiler images is actually, like, way after the last. Like, it, it would make no sense because the last takes place two years later. There's no way that Naruto and Hinata could have a son yet. So this takes place, I'm guessing, a decade or so later, and uh, Naruto's arm is still bandaged up. That is interesting to note. Um, so He's we... using it, though, so it does. it almost is like... 
It could be organic or it could be some mechanical technology that is connected. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the thing in a, I'm making a reference, but I'm fucking it up. Uh, uh, <laughs> full Metal Alchemist? Full Metal Alchemist. It's, it's auto mail. It's auto mail. Yeah. yeah. And wrapped up. It, it looks good, though. It looks like he can use it. It's mm -hmm. not just like a prosthetic hand. You know, uh, we'll get to something else about his arm a little bit later when we talk about the last images. Um, but right after that, we have a really cool shot of Karama just sleeping and drooling. And when I first saw this image, I was like, oh, okay, cool. It's Karama. But you actually noted that it looks like that he's actually sitting on grass. It looks like he's sitting on grass. And it also makes sense. Uh, the sage said that the beast could be free at the one of the last uh, pages or chapters of Naruto, mm -hmm. and it looks like Kurama is relaxing, you know, getting some sun, chilling. I just like to see him in this type of situation. It's probably the most relaxed we've ever seen him, and just... I just want to see Kurama during a beach episode. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, meeting Watermelon. Hang on. Um, but after that, we have another bombshell of an image. Boom. We have the daughter of Sakura, but who's the father? Who oh. is the father? Well, if you scroll down a little bit uh, down, you actually get to see that apparently this girl is referencing her father, and it is indeed... Sasuke Uchiha. Boom. Something else. Before we get too into the Sasuke thing, you can mm -hmm. see Sakura actually has her dot activated on her forehead. Mm -hmm. This would lead me to believe that she has become so good at that technique it just, just be on all the time. I mean, she's basically the next Tsunade. You know, yes. Tsunade always had that mark on her forehead as well. That, it is, or, uh, that or the cleaning she was doing was really intense and she needed the extra <laughs> chakra. That know. is so funny that <laughs> she's been reduced to a housewife in this image. You know, it's easy to make fun of that image. But obviously, uh, Sakura's just being a good mom. And obviously, her dream has come true. You know, yes. she got to bone Sasuke and uh, create a daughter that looks suspiciously like Karen. Which is fucked up and twisted in a lot of ways. You know, I like funny. it, though, because you, you really can see elements of Sasuke and Sakura in their brand new daughter. It's very strange. Obviously, you can see the sly confidence and coolness of Sasuke. But uh, I like the fact that she's wearing red glasses as well. Just, uh, it just... I didn't expect this to happen. One of the things that I think is going to be interesting is I want to see a Sakura, Sasuke child freak out like Sakura, though. Because it's like the calm, cool confidence of Sasuke, mm -hmm. but then the emotional outbursts of Sakura. I want to see that. We're not actually seeing any yeah. of that in the... Uh, I mean, there, there's really... That's all they really show of this brand new character. Um, let's get I mean, Sasuke. Yeah, let's, let's look at Sasuke, who, looking like a badass, guy looks a lot more like uh, Madara Uchiha at this point. Yes. Um, especially in the face and all they really show is just him like walking around in the woods and he's got like a brand new uh, chakra cloak on, not chakra cloak, just a regular black cloak in a, in a purple bag. And uh, I'm just going to assume at this point that he's probably a good guy, especially considering that he uh, has a daughter with Sakura in Konoha Village. Maybe he's a like a Goku dad, though. He's just never around. It could, you know, <laughs> who knows? He might be on some sort of, you know, mystical journey of peace, just like Jiraiya. Maybe he's reached a brand new, like, form of enlightenment like i'd rather go around and maybe i can't control the world but i'm still going to go around and spread justice exactly in yeah. his own specific sasuke badass way which you know i like the look of this uh, i'm really glad that sasuke is going to continue to stick around it is interesting to note as well we don't see that other arm we have not seen it maybe yeah. he chooses not to have a prosthetic arm maybe mm -hmm. he chooses you know what this is who i am now and his this form is of just punishment his form of um now something that you know it's funny because of all the spoiler images, the one that I didn't want to see is the one that's not in color. It's uh, a scene of Sasuke doing his signature Itachi forehead poke to Sakura. Which is also a symbol to say I love you and we're connected. Basically. And I don't know. I really wish I hadn't have seen that yet. Uh, the color ones don't seem to offend me as much as this one. This is something that I feel like when I was reading it for the first time, it would just give me those, those choking offend. feels. Define Because um, I don't know what you even I, I was. I didn't want to be spoiled by this scene. Oh, you're, it, you're more upset about being spoiled. Okay. Yeah. I thought and you were it's like... funny because it's not as crazy as a scene as seeing like the daughter of... of you know, Naruto and Hinata. Or but the, that's so far in the future, and so also hinting to the third series. That exactly. It, it doesn't matter as much. In um, the sense of the, but that's all that image is. But right after that, we have Gara, who is looking completely different, and that's saying a lot because even his design over. in the last is different. You know, I know this is weird, and it makes no sense. I have no idea where you're about to go with but this. But it totally, like, his look reminds me of what the Penguin looks like in the brand new Gotham TV series. Oh, you've been watching it. I haven't seen it. That, <laughs> and that's so. probably just what it is. Yeah. Um, just, I like the look of Gara. He looks you know, like he's having tea, and he's hanging out. At probably peace. the happiest we've ever seen Gara looking, most laid back and relaxed. Uh, right after that, we have Shikamaru, who looks exactly like his dad. He looks like a teacher. He looks like he's teaching 
teaching probably Naruto's son? I'm guessing that, uh, you know how in the war Shikamaru was saying that he's going to be Naruto's advisor when he becomes Hokage? Yeah. That's what he's doing right now. Advising uh, Naruto, you think? Exactly. You know, he's basically his right-hand man, his assistant, to make sure he doesn't do anything too stupid, too Naruto-ish. And he also said in one of the movies, which you can take or leave that uh, as canon, that he wanted to help the youth of the village, so maybe he is teaching. Mm. You know, he also could be helping the kids come up. You know, like Naruto had so many influential teachers, maybe he wants to be one to the next generation. Exactly. And uh, speaking of Shikamaru, that brings us to Tamari. This is the most obvious pairing of all. Tamari was always going to be with Shikamaru. It was hinted at since their very first fight in the tuning exam. All of their interactions throughout the series and the war, I'm not surprised by this at all. Uh, she looks she, like she's creeping through the window, though. She does. She looks uh, She looks a little different, especially when compared to her design in the last, which is uh, just, she definitely looks more dignified here. That's the only way I can really put it. She just looks a little older, a little wiser. Uh, the next one is pretty interesting. It's Kakashi and Guy hanging out, which, you know, they're not that old, but something about Guy in a wheelchair and an older version looking of Kakashi just makes me think like they're like at an old folks home. Yeah, they're like... And it's totally is... not what's going on. They're just hanging out outside, but... Uh, you know, Guy apparently has not recovered from the Battle of Madara. Well, he also was supposed to die, and not in the sense where, you know, he sacrificed himself, got stabbed, mm-hmm. and ended up living. Like, he ended up sa- sacrificing all of his life force, and just so happens Naruto was there to stop it from fading out into existence. But, you know, there there looks like there's some repercussions from that. Maybe that's like a good middle ground, because, you know, there's some characters, you know, or some people have been reading it, they're like, oh, this sucks, he should have died after using that technique. Well... He's not exactly a ninja anymore, and he's not exactly fighting, but I still like the fact that Guy is smiling and keeping the spirit alive. The spirit of youth. The power of uh, elderly youth. And uh, maybe we can infer from... applesauce uh... and depends. (laughs) 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 That is the ultimate story for Guy. So, uh, Kakashi, obviously, he's there. I'm imagining now that Naruto's Hokage, he's stepped down, and, uh, you know, he's just sort of living out his life as a retired ninja. Still wearing his mask, and I really hope that it always stays that way. I honestly think we do not need to see Kakashi's face. I think it just adds to his character. I think it is his character. Exactly. Yes, it defines him. Um, And then uh, the final shot is Konoharmaru. A much older version of Konoharmu. Much, uh, he's resembling Asuma every single time he gets older. Yes. And uh, there's also Eruka behind him, looking a little bit older. Um, but yeah, I'm just. I imagine Konoharmu is going to be the Hokage after Naruto at this point. You know, that's kind Kakashi of what being it was the set sixth, up. Yeah. Naruto being the seventh. Uh, Team seven. That's so perfect. And then uh, then we have the eighth, who's going to be Konoharmu eventually. But that's all they've released of the spoiler images right that here. That may or may not be real. Yeah, still which it's that. still yeah, it's still not officially confirmed, and we're not going to say it's official until the manga is released. But uh, what did you think? Uh, today's like kind of overwhelming. I don't know if this video <laughs> is going to hold this weight in a week. I know it's not like, the type of question. So what do you think of it? No, this is so much to process. It really is. We are we're not even done. Today's going to be a real busy day for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, and but really, I think we've said everything we think. The, yeah, to, to, I mean, at this point, I wish you guys just go check out this article in the video description and let us know what you think. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is not our last Naruto video, obviously, which we're very happy about. We have the new movie coming out. We have a whole uh, bunch of stuff. All these new spinoffs, like, you know, they've already mentioned part three is going to be happening, which is going to be a mini-series. Who did we Who did we not see, actually? Let me let me bring that up before I lose that. Who'd Rock we, Lee. Rock Lee's we did children. not see. I, just, I bet they're just two big eyebrows and legs. You know, mm-hmm. oh, there was uh, there was another image uh, that it, it was on here originally. Um, I don't see it on here now. Did you refresh the page and it got removed? It possibly it was uh, an image of some other children of some other characters. There was a uh, Sai. Oh, that it did looked get like removed. A, yeah, what? there was like a little version of Sai. There was apparently Choji has a daughter, and apparently he got married with someone from Hidden Cloud, and I actually think it's the character of Karui because she has the, uh, the same colored hair, the, the same colored eyes. eyes. Yeah, and yeah. I just I didn't. Did you see that coming? I don't even think they've talked. <laughs> no. They also seem to show Shikamaru's son, who looks just like a little version of Shikamaru. He's even wearing the same vest that Shikamaru wore when he was in the first part of the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, very classic. And there's just... Uh, but yeah, they didn't show Rock Lee. Nope. Um, we didn't see Ten Ten, or at least I didn't see Ten Ten. Um, Which would be a cool matchup, because... It's Rock the only one that I think could make sense. Rock Lee can't use ninjutsu, but, but he can use taijutsu. But then add weapons to him, and you kind of you make a little one. He's and add, a, oh. then he's like a Taijutsu weapons master. That's awesome. That That's a really be a great pretty, way. Pretty cool ninja. Um, I am, I, you know, I, I'm not really into the whole shipping thing. I'm not really into that at all. But uh, I like I'm, the word pairing. I would have liked it if Rock Lee got with Sakura. 
I don't know, because the Rock League was always sort of enamored with soccer from the beginning of the series, and uh, maybe that was just, you know, a fleeting thing. You know, they never really built upon it too much after those initial scenes, but I just always imagined maybe that would be a funny direction. But, you know, Neji 1010, that does seem to make the most sense at this point. But then again, I never imagined that uh, Choji and, uh, you know, a Cloud Ninja like Karui, just, I didn't see that happening at all because there was no, like, interactions between them, we just, like, at all. To me, I knew Choji was going to be with someone. I thought because... it was going to be Eno. Speaking of which, I don't see Eno anywhere. No, there's there's see, a lot more questions. Although Sai's son looks similar to Eno in some ways, and that'd be strange, but Eno would totally be down with Sai because she's made it very clear that she thinks uh, he's pretty freaking hot. So would that happen? This is the most pairing we have ever this talked about. This is maybe the only pairing we've ever talked yeah. about. Yeah, it is way. interesting though because it's actually resulting in what could be part three of the series. So no, I'm excited. Not, not for resulting. That. They, they yeah. said it will. Yeah, they, they, there's an official announcement. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I can't believe that's happening. I really thought this was going to be done. Maybe I was fooling myself. I just I really hope this doesn't turn into GT, and I hope that they have a good direction for this. I hope uh, they find like a good medium. I don't know if it's going to be more humorous, like the first part of Naruto, if they're going to try to go serious again, like in Shippuden, but uh, I I'm interested. You got my attention, and uh, obviously when this stuff is released next year, you know we're going to be talking about it and reviewing all of it for you guys, but... Believe it or not, that's not the end. There are actually more spoilers. Right after that, there's been a lot of concept art which has been released for the last Naruto movie. Again, just like the other spoilers, the colored images, these are not official, but they look real. They look to no, the point these where are pretty much official, if you ask me. Like they fooled me. If they're fake, they fooled they fooled me just like the last mm -hmm. images. But uh, we're gonna talk about these again. These are by no means an official confirmation, but we do want to comment on them and just talk about them. So. First shot is of Naruto in his brand new look, and he's actually in his QB chakra mode. And what is interesting to note is this is the first picture we've seen of him where his arm is not bandaged up, and that's because it's all powered up by chakra. What is cool, though, is if you actually look at the elbow where the arm was cut off originally, there seems to be an arm extending from it. So this could literally just be a chakra arm. And does that seem too far-fetched? Absolutely not. All Naruto did was form arms, chakra arms off that. So the idea that he can form an arm made out of pure energy is completely within the realm of possibility and most likely happening. All right, so you remember that scene from, and, and work with me on this. Okay, I'm working. Uh, from Evangelion 2.22 at the very end of the movie where you Shinji... shall not pass, or... No, it's, <laughs> we're not bringing Lord of the Rings into this shit. This is already ridiculous enough. Um, the scene where Shinji is an Ava unit and he loses the arm and then he creates a brand new one out of pure energy. Mm -hmm. It's just like that. I'm sure that that's happened in anime, like five different series. It probably has. You know, anime has really jumped the shark. Anime jumped the shark in the 70s. Yeah. Uh, you know, but uh, I like the image. Um, you it know, looks it's like not... Naruto. The, the, the black lines on them are, seem a little different. They do. They have like a brand new design to them. Uh, but I like it. You know, it, Why it, not? It's a movie. They can do it. Exactly. It fits uh, with the brand new uh, look and everything. And if you look at the eyes, it is indeed a combination of if, stage uh, mode. People and, want to look uh, along with us. What is the name of this article? The same thing. Uh, like I said, if you guys do want to see any of this, just a reminder, both of the links to these articles will be in the description box below. All you have to do is click on them. You can see all these cool images. And the name of the article is The Last uh, Naruto. The Last Naruto, the movie Sage Tail Beast Mode, Naruto, Hinata, Kakashi Art, and Rumors. So let's so, go uh, through the last There's one. a lot more in this. We're going to go through them a little quicker. Uh, we have another shot Ooh, of Kakashi and Hokage. This is definitely giving Corey a boner right now. Yes, it is. And guess what? <laughs> I'm totally cosplaying as this eventually. Ooh. There's no way I'm not going to cosplay as Kakashi as the Hokage. It's some bed sheets and a hat. Exactly. It's easy <laughs> to do. It's actually easier than regular Kakashi, which they also show him in his brand new uh, ninja uniforms, which I really like. I it's, like them a lot. It's especially... kind of him, but like a mix between Ambu him mm -hmm. and uh, normal green vested. I like the uh, the symbols on the back of the flak jacket. Obviously, it shows me maybe I'm going to have to get a new one. Yeah, maybe. You know, maybe. I like this. I really like the look of it. I like the darker colors. Uh, we have another shot of Hinata. Looking, looking just, like a mom. Looking like a mom. Well, this is the last. She's actually just looking like a regular teenaged girl. But, oh, sort of. Um, you know, but we also have another shot of her in what looks like a weird, dark, ceremonial wedding dress. Or she's going to a funeral. Yeah, something like that. I'm imagining in the story of the movie that Toneri Otsutsuki, the main villain of the film, might actually be trying to forcibly have Hinata marry him. For oh, some like sort the of whole crazy mind control aspect? Yeah, like and since they're both over. Byakugan, or maybe he has like a special form of Byakugan. I mean, they showed that he has actual eyes, but I still hold firm he's probably related to that. In some and I have a theory that he can turn them on and off. Yeah. Like, that's something it's I like imagine. like a switch. Yeah. Um, but then we have another shot of Hinata just wearing a jacket. Um, more just regular shots of Naruto in his regular wear. Hinata in her ninja outfit, which looks awesome. It's the most ninja-y she's ever looked in the entire series. Um, right after that, we have Guy! 
uh, in the wheelchair. Which So that's a commitment to the wheelchair. Yeah, they're saying that he's going to be in this wheelchair for a long time. But again, I love the fact that even though he's there, he's still giving the thumbs up and he's still excited. I love like, that. Yeah, I get and the I heart love, closer to things now. I love that he has that's a so uh, – I love that he has the Konoha symbol on his wheelchair. He's got a badass wheelchair. Uh, Kiba. Kiba's looking way older than before. Uh, he's um, going back to his old jacket, which I actually really love because that gave him a lot of distinction. I'm just trying to care because I don't really care about Kiba. You don't care about Kiba? Nobody cares about Kiba, and that really gets me mad because he's such a great character who is no. underused. I like that he no longer looks like a biker and that he looks like his old self again. Uh, we have some Sakura shots. Again, uh, she's definitely looking older. Um, she looks so much like uh, Tsunade now that it actually is kind of ridiculous. She's Tsunade with pink hair. Um, just regular wear. That's basically all the concept. Or, I don't really just... have much to say uh, about her design. It's cool. It's, it looks like uh, she looks older. She looks like she has a new outfit for the movie. Mm -hmm. And they do that in movies. Yeah. Uh, this next shot, though, is of Sasuke. Mm -hmm. And it looks awesome. I love his new like rogue ninja look. I love all the wrappings. I love the dark colors. And I especially love the fact that they're still not revealing what the hell's going on with his arm. You see the sleeve, but you don't see a hand coming out from and the also, other side. And also, why can't Sasuke make an arm with Susano? You know, he could. Yeah, that's so true. Oh, that'd be awesome, too. So, and also, it just makes sense. Like, just a big making, chakra I'm making a arm. huge prediction here that Naruto and Sasuke both defeat the bad guy while hitting him with their techniques with chakra arms. You know, like they, you know, because that's how Naruto movies end. You know, I never even thought of that possibility, considering the fact that they can manipulate their chakra. They're like, their abilities are made to do that. Yeah. We've seen Naruto make thousands of chakra arms. There's no reason why he shouldn't be able to do that. And just, I didn't even think of Susano. That yeah. is so he awesome. He gets a badass, like, purple skeleton, skeleton hand. Like, yeah. that is so freaking awesome. And he's dressed very dark. Sasuke yeah. is a dark character. Mm -hmm. He's brooding, you know, no big deal. Uh, or not no big deal, but it's, it just fits Sasuke's look. Mm -hmm. And there's also Poncho from Sasuke. Yes. And right after that, there is just an ass load of other new images of Naruto in his brand new outfit with his black shirt. We also get to see there apparently are more images of Hinata and Naruto's son and daughter. Why that's pictured with the last images, though? I'm not sure. They shouldn't even be born yet. Maybe at the end of the last... They They'll have an end, epilogue. Yeah, they have an epilogue. To tie it into the last know, chapter. Harry Potter drops his kids off at the <laughs> It's at funny the because last time you mentioned, yeah. it was totally going to be just like Harry Potter, and that is exactly what is happening. I, I knew it. I knew it. Uh, okay, so otherwise, just more shots of Hinata, her using her Byakugan eyes. We have her sister, Hanabi, uh, looking just a little older, wearing some sort of kimono. We have another shot of Kona Harmaru, basically just looking a little older. And apparently he's ditched the scarf. Which I say nay to. That scarf is exactly what made Kona Harmaru interesting. I was always conflicted by that character. I always saw Chopper from One Piece every time I heard him talk. It, there's no doubt that when you know that, that's, that's <laughs> all you hear. That's it. Um, after that, we have a shot of Kuranai. And what uh, actually looks to be the daughter of Kuranai and Asuma. First time that we've really seen her a little older. And uh, that's interesting. That is something that they followed up on. Uh, we mentioned Ten Ten earlier. We didn't get to see her, but we do get to see her design in the last... Um, just, it's a variant on her design from the first part of the series. Mm -hmm. She still has her ninja scrolls. Shino is now wearing his, uh, big overcoat now, and he has a different pair of glasses. And, uh, Tamari, who looks way different than what she does later on in the actual finale of the show. Yeah, she still has her fan, and, uh, there's not much else going on there. You know, and, and then after that, you know, Izumo, Kotetsu, just the regular side characters, Iruka. Right. Um, but there are a few new characters, and that, that's what, uh, the very last things we're going to talk about uh, some brand new Konoha ninja, a group of three girls, and one girl who looks like she might be either a medical ninja or a medical uh, or a scientist yep. for Konoha Village. And then we have this really freaky shot of this girl's face, which looks like something out of the Reminds me of ring. the villain from one of the last Naruto movies we just reviewed, the the, the mummy person. Yes, it does. What it, was their um, name? I'm forgetting. Hiruko, Hiruko from uh, The Will of Fire. Yeah, uh, The face similar. just looks really creepy, red eyes and these teeth. I'm not sure what's up with any of these because right after that, it's a lot of shots of these weird monsters. Yes. Which, there's a big freaking crab, there's a weird like mummified looking bird creature and there's some sort of weird like grotesque like blob monster thing. But right next to it is Toneri Otsutsuki in a powered-up form, which is very similar to QB Chakra Mode, except that it's like a light blue chakra. It looks almost like, uh, um, like 
snow or like an ice power up. Mm -hmm. it's very very blue it's it's almost all it's all blue mm -hmm. and uh i'm interested to see how maybe the, if that's connected to these weird monsters of some sort mm -hmm. i'm not sure what's up with them maybe they're related to these new characters who are at the top obviously in these spoiler images everything at the bottom is like a complete mystery no I, uh, idea the, the trailers have no haven't idea. told us anything we have no idea but i like it though because since it's you know again tied to characters who are actually from the manga series it just makes this all the more interesting. It, you know, Toneri is already the most cool movie villain by far. Yes. Just because of looking at his abilities, his transformation, if this stuff is real. If it is, I'm psyched for this, man. And because there's going to be, like, a gap between the last and the final chapter of Naruto, who's to say they just can't have some more adventures of the characters up to that point? Yeah, there's no reason why they couldn't. There's a, there's a lot of, uh, maybe they finish up the story that they have going on here, and they just build up to the where the Part 3 series is going to take off. I think that's really what the last movie is about. It's to say goodbye to... Uh, Naruto and Sasuke being the leaders of the series mm -hmm. and uh, focusing on the new characters. And that's what Naruto's all about, the next generation. Yeah. And so. the last is also, it's sort of, you know, it's obvious. It's setting up the relationship between Hinata and Naruto. And I love that because one of the biggest complaints from people is, Naruto and Hinata have never spent any time together. How can they develop a relationship? This takes place two years later. They're going to go through a crazy mission together. And there's going to be another ten or so years going by. That's plenty of time to form a relationship for Naruto and, and Hinata. And we don't have to see every single waking moment of their lives because we never do anyway. And Kishimoto is not that great at romance. We all know that. And I think he's like, you know what? If I'm going to go do romance and I'm known for not doing it that great, I'm going to spend the time and do it right. Yeah, And it looks like that's what he's trying to do. Yeah. And I actually appreciate that. I'm glad it's just not being shoehorned in. So just to go over this all again, there's yeah. going to be a part three. Mm -hmm. There's going to be the brand new movie. Yes. There's going to be a brand new Kakashi book, which is actually being written by the guy who worked on Blood Prison movie. Which, which is a great is one. freaking awesome. You know I'm excited for that. And, of course, there's all these brand new character arc works, and there's the spoilers. So, Naruto's ending, but then again, it's not. So, that's Ooh. it. That was a ton of incredible spoilers this and concept hands art. This down was the biggest video we've ever made. Or longest. Longest in a long time. We don't usually do discussion videos this long, but we had to talk about this stuff, guys. We had to just... We had to get it out. Absolutely. It, it's, it, you know, and I'm excited. I cannot wait to read the final chapters of Naruto. I'm so excited because even though it's ending, there's all this great stuff in the future and you know that we're going to cover all of it. So make sure and stay tuned to the channel and uh, look for all of our awesome stuff. Thank you guys for joining us for this intensely long conversation. It's been a long time since we've done a video like this, Woo. but it's a really exciting time to be a Naruto fan. If you guys checked out all of this concept artwork, please tell us what you thought about it in the comment section below. If you have not had a chance to see it, just a reminder, we'll put links for all of that stuff in the description box below. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like it. It really helps us out a lot. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. That way you can see all of our latest anime, manga, reviews and naruto news so guys that's it we will see you in the final chapter of naruto